Hey guys, so this box arrived from UK. This is full of RD350 parts. I have to see what all are in there. I'm pretty excited. This is, though not for my bike, this is actually for a new project that I'm going to work on. But there are a lot of things that we might test fit in my bike and if we love it, then we will get one each for my bike as well. But presently it is for a secret project which I am yet to reveal on the channel. But anyways, presents are something that everybody loves. So I thought I'll do the unboxing along with you guys. Okay, so let's get into the box. The package arrived from Goa, so you have this Sula Vineyards. Okay, let's see what we got in the package. So we have an original USPEC hub, then we have the USPEC rotor. The rotor is actually pretty heavy, about 5 to 7 kgs. And then we have the original USPEC front caliper, along with a set of standard art pistons. Then we have the front axle as well as the speedometer warm gear system. Then we have the inner springs for the USPEC shocks and then we have the outer tubes for the USPEC forks. So the plan is I have these Indian spec forks that I bought about a couple of years ago and my plan is to convert these Indian uh, forks to USPEC forks. If you see visually they look exactly the same there are these stays which needs to be welded. So that is the plan I am going to get those welded um, take both of them to the shop and get those welded and then I am going to convert these Indian outer tubes to US spec tubes. The benefit is it is just going to cost me a couple of thousand rupees like maybe 2000 max and it will get converted. The other one you can see there is nothing much these are optional actually but I'll still get them fabricated when I am getting them welded. So the main reason I am doing this is because these US spec shocks are like 18, 20,000 rupees a pair just for the outer forks. These Indian ones are cheaper. So that is the way to go because otherwise this project is going to be very expensive and 
our plan is to always make sure that we do things cheaper so that our viewers get some kind of additional information and support in terms of what to use so what guys, not to use that set of spares that you just saw is for another project basically that's a project that i haven't revealed yet with anybody else but there are a bit more things that we have procured and we will soon do the reveal once we get some major components like a chassis so once that is ready then that project will be revealed and all those parts you saw are for that project however the best part is since i have these two inner tubes already these are indian rd inner tubes these are the us uk spec inner tubes since i have these inner tubes i will replicate the design on these i will have these things made on these so it will be little cheaper to do that otherwise what happens is these things are like 15 20 thousand rupees each so i will replicate these clamps on this one so that it is easy for us to use the indian uh, front end and then the plan is to replace the entire front end and put that um, see to be very honest the reason why i chose the pulsar 220 setup initially was to make sure that all the parts are available locally so i blew the oil seals recently and you know since it's a pulsar 220 i was easily able to procure that and we got a good deal with that so this is a great setup the braking is potent like you know it it stops on a dime literally but now what has happened is from the um, performance aspect now i'm more focused on the aesthetic aspects so that's why i'm changing things slowly so you remember we got a faulty master cylinder from a youtuber so for that we are expecting the rebuild kit which is coming in another package so once that happens this will be replaced with that then the next thing that we will replace is the entire front end the front end actually uh, was modified to take this pulsar 220 setup like the stock um, diameter of the inner tube is i think it's around 33 or 34 mm if i'm not mistaken and this is around 37 mm the pulsar 220 setup so we have to bore and increase the diameter of the triple t as well as the crown plate to accommodate that and in the stock form the pulsar 220 uh, front forks are longer so we did some modification there as well to reduce the height now this sits on a stock rd350 height i have spent a huge amount of money to actually make this working i could have actually gone for two us spec setups for that money but still you know i chose this this is a great setup no doubt about it i am having absolute fun on this the front mudguard is an original rd350 mudguard but what we have done is we have created a clamp for the pulsar 220 and this mudguard is not a reproduction this is the original thing that you get with an rd350 this was a survivor mudguard that i got from kashmir and so the situation is now what i'm planning to do is i'm planning to sell the entire front setup once i get uh, the complete setup for the rd350 done so i have to mainly buy two things which is the uh, crown plate and the triple t so if anybody has a stock condition crown plate and triple t and is interested to get uh, the pulsar 220 setup which looks like this then you know hit me up on instagram i'll put the instagram id below so we can do an exchange obviously i'm not going to give you the entire setup just for the top triple plate and the t-stem that is something that we'll have to work out uh, the whole thing including the mudguard actually cost me more than thirty-five thousand, but i'm definitely not asking that money so we'll do reasonable negotiations if you are interested then probably we can do the swap so once that is taken care of the next thing that i want to do is okay another important thing why i am converting the indian outer tubes to us spec and not buying us spec outer tubes first of all they are expensive second is the indian inner parts are slightly different from us inner parts even the dust boot that comes on top is slightly different 
so what happens is there is a lot of reproduction stuff available in the market but i don't want to go the route in which you know i will have difficulties getting those things so what i will do is i will basically uh, get the indian internals in the fork and i will use the US indian outer fork and convert it into a us spec so that is the plan now the next set of upgrades which is coming to this bike is one i have to buy a us spec or uk spec meter so these meters will go uh, i have three set of these meters so if somebody wants to do exchange uh, i'm open to that we can have a discussion again hit me on the instagram next thing that i am going to do is i will come on the other side and then explain i'm planning to replace the switch with the original oer d350 us spec switch this is from a meteor so it actually gives us two function one is the engine kill and then second is it also gives a hazard light so we want to replace that so that you know looks more authentic and more original then the next thing that i might replace after this is the silencers i might go for the us spec ones these are the indian ht ones so that is another plan that we have then other than that maybe you know you never know maybe another set of cylinders different from the chinese ones but i'm having fun with these chinese cylinders they're exceptionally good so that is the update on the rd i hope you liked the video if you did please like share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one bye